Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is packed with tons of cleaning motivation. Our house was a disaster, but I also wanted to share some new furniture that I picked up and home decor with y'all. If you're new here, my name is Lauren and I love making videos about cleaning and home decor, organization, and all things homemaking. So if you love those things too, smack that red subscribe button below. I would love to have you. And if you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up for me. That helps me out so much. But let's go ahead and get started. I'm starting out in our living room today because it was the biggest mess. We had our dog runner up in here because we had been working all week and it kind of just works for us right now because we don't have any furniture on the other side of our living room yet. And so we pop it up right there and we put his little bed in there and he loves it and he can just watch TV while we're at work. So that's what we've been doing but I'm going to get that all put away. I'm dusting down everything in our entryway because every time we open that front door more dust comes in. We live in a new construction area and that's just kind of just what happens. I also wanted to trade out our wreath right here for a more springy wreath and I thought this little white tulip wreath was so pretty. I found that at Home Goods. And then as for the rest of the living room, I'm just going to go around and straighten things up, fluff pillows, I'm going to vacuum the carpet. And here in just a minute, I'm going to show you two new pieces of furniture that I picked up for our living room this week. I'm so excited about one of these pieces and I cannot wait to show y'all. And I also picked up some decor here and there, so can't wait to share all of that with you. But for right now, let's go ahead and get this living room cleaned up. We can spend all day in bed. I'll put the TV in the room. We'll have a Netflix marathon, Kenny G saxophone. We'll order in a bunch of food. I found these little cream and gray plaid pillows at At Home and I love them. I really feel like they helped brighten up this space. All we've had in here up until now are these charcoal pillows and I've always thought that we needed something a little bit lighter and brighter and I feel like these really did the job well. We can spend all day in bed. Today's video is in collaboration with Elizabeth Dipita. She also posted a spring clean and decorate today and her channel is all about homemaking, decor inspiration, and encouragement for everyday life. She has such a sweet, calming personality and she's all about helping you find ways to love what you already have and I love that about her. She also has a beautiful home and the sweetest little family. So make sure to go check out her channel today and subscribe and also check out her Instagram because y'all will absolutely love her. I've been doing a spring cleaning series here on my YouTube channel and this is part four. Part one, two, and three will be linked down below in case y'all missed those. And those were filled with a lot more deep cleaning motivation. In today's video, we're just going through the house and cleaning up the messes that we've made throughout the week. And then I'm also bringing in lots of new furniture and home decor. So if you want to check out those other ones, they'll be linked below. My old Keurig is sitting here. Everybody say goodbye to this Keurig because it's going to my classroom at school. We finally updated our coffee maker. We went and got one of those Keurigs that has the milk frother on it. And oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. I've been making lattes like crazy around here. But anyways, that was sitting right there because I meant to take it out to my car and I forgot. So we took care of that. And now we're over here at Opie's cage. I'm just gonna pull everything out. And by the way, we got this dog from the shelter and he was already potty trained. But when we first got him, he got really bad anxiety or he had really bad anxiety when we left. And so he would pee on the coffee table every single time. And so we figured if we got one of these little grass pee pads that might help curve that. But he has not once used it and my husband's really mad about it <laughs> because he paid $50 for it. So don't recommend the grass pee pad. But anyways, Opie's potty trained and he's not had any more accidents like that. We've kind of learned him and he's learned us. But 
I at one point did go out in the yard and get some grass to put it on his pee pad <laughs> because I thought maybe that would attract him to it. And so that's why there's grass right here. I'm just gonna get that all swept up and get this area cleaned up. If you're not new around here, then you're probably noticing that things are a little bit different around here. We went ahead and moved the fiddle leaf plant over by the entryway bench, and I got something for that other corner this week at Hobby Lobby. Can't wait to show y'all that. And things are not necessarily permanent in here. I'm gonna be moving things around and figuring out what I like, but I do love all of the things that I had the chance to pick up this week. This is the thing that I'm most excited about. I found this at Hobby Lobby, and it was such a steal, and I feel like it's the perfect size for this wall. I love the legs because they're similar to the design on our TV stand, but not too matchy-matchy. And I also picked up some beautiful lamps for this table from At Home. They're like this ribbed glass material with um, some gold detail on them. And so I love the way that this area turned out, but I will be going more in depth with how I decorate this table in next week's video. I'm just gonna kinda keep it simple today. I wanted to stare at it for a little bit to figure out how I wanted it, but in next week's video, we're also gonna be decorating the whole house for Easter, and then we're also gonna tackle this table. So come back next week and see all of that. Since this table doesn't really have a bottom on it, I am just going to tape those lamp cords up behind the table so that they're not super visible. I don't mind having a little bit of cords showing, but I don't like them all hanging down all over the place. So I took care of that off camera. And then for the wall above this table, I figured, you know, instead of going and buying more stuff, I need to go back in my decoration closet back in the back room and see if there's anything that I could possibly use here. We use these pictures above our couch in our apartment and I love the way that they look, but I'm kind of over them. But for now, I figured I will use this to fill the space and then eventually I'll get a big white clock for this area. So for now, I'm just gonna put a little tiny nail hole in the wall and hang this up. And then I'm also gonna add a little flower arrangement to the table. And I feel like this area turned out so cute, but I can't wait to go into more depth with how I decorate it next week. Okay, as y'all can tell, I had a very successful trip to Hobby Lobby on this day because I also found this really pretty little white table and it was only 30 bucks and I thought, gosh, that is so pretty for 30 bucks. So I went ahead and picked it up. I wasn't sure what I was gonna do with it, but I'm going to use it to add some height in this corner over here to kind of offset that tree that we moved. And I'm also gonna add this vase that I used to have on our kitchen table and I'm just gonna add some fresh baby's breath to it. I'm not putting water in it or anything, but baby's breath usually keeps for a really long time and then when it does die, it kind of just dries out. It doesn't look too bad. So I'm gonna put that in here for the springtime. And if you're new here, we just recently decorated this entryway area with the bench and the hooks. 
and I'm loving the bench, but I think eventually, probably after spring, I will take down those hooks and add a big round mirror above this bench instead, just because I feel like this area is a little bit cluttered and I want it to look more clean and sleek, but for now, I am loving that little tulip wreath. Okay, now we're moving into this little eat-in nook in our kitchen, and I have a funny story time for y'all. My husband's dress pants and shoes were laying here because as soon as he got home from work, he had bought some new workout equipment and was trying to unload it in the garage, and I didn't know the garage door was open, so I opened the door to the garage from inside the house, and Opie ran out and started running down the street, and Will chased after him the entire way down the street and Opie was not giving up. He just ran all the way into the woods, and so Will, I mean, he hung in there <laughs> and chased Opie and finally grabbed him up, but by the time he was done, he was covered in mud, and it was just a huge ordeal. <laughs> so that's why all of his clothes were laying out right there. That had happened just minutes before I was cleaning this area, and also this area was already a disaster. We had eaten dinner and not cleaned up our plates, so I'm just gonna go through with some Windex anti back spray and get this area all cleaned up. For spring, I love everything to look white and bright and crisp, so this little eat-in area is still going to have the white plates, and I'm going to add some white cloth napkins. And then I showed you all this picture that I picked up from at home in last week's video. I'm obsessed. I love it. But I'm just going to add some water and plant food, and I'm going to add some more baby's breath over here. I love how comfy this area turned out for spring. It looks inviting and fresh and clean. I found those little seat covers at Target. I shared that last week, and I think they were like $10 a piece. And I'm just adding these linen napkins that I found from Hobby Lobby. And I love these because on the ends they have little pom-pom details, and I think they're perfect. They add just the right amount of detail, but not too much. And this area just turned out so clean and fresh looking. Every week is different with these floors. Some weeks we can keep them pretty clean. This week was definitely really hard on our floors because not only did that accident happen with Will and Opie, but also Opie's food normally goes over here in this corner and it got spilled everywhere. So that's what you see me cleaning up here. And then also inside the kitchen where we cook, the floors were just a disaster. So we're gonna go around with this broom and get everything cleaned up. And I'm also gonna take a Dyson to all the rugs. And our kitchen was a disaster, so I'm just going to go around to all these countertops and clear them off, put the dirty dishes in the sink, get everything cleaned up. I'm going to have to clean up the top of our stove because it was disgusting, as always. So let's go ahead and get all of this taken care of. Disappearing 
Am I the only one that has to organize their dishes before they start in doing dishes? I feel like every time I go to do the dishes, I just go ahead and line all of the dishes up on this side of the sink, and then it's just easy to load them in the dishwasher. I don't have to go all over the kitchen to try to find dirty dishes. And then I use the other side of the sink to lay out dishes that have to be hand washed just to let them dry. This system works for us. Let me know what y'all do down below. That's something that you do to me is chemical I know when I have a bunch of pans like this all stacked up, what I do is I go ahead and I spray all of them with dish soap and water and just let them sit and then I'll go through one by one and wash them out. Sometimes when I'm thinking about us Before we got lost and we parted Back to back we would carry on and We'd do anything for what we started But this time we could break Now I'm just going to throw a soap pot in the dishwasher and get that started. I needed to clean off our stove top because it was disgusting. And last week I showed you all that I've been using the Barkeeper's Friend. That's new to my house. I have not used that in the past. But I love how clean it gets my stove top. And I had mentioned in last week's video that I used it in my sink and I didn't love the results. I felt like it kind of dulled the sink a little bit. And then I had tons and tons of people message me and say, no, you have to use it. And then on top of it, use some soap and water and clean it out after you use it. So I was not aware of this. So I did use it again after that and I noticed what they were saying. So what you have to do is you sprinkle it in your sink, scrub it all out, and then you go in with soap like you always would. So it's just an extra step basically, but it does make your sink look really pretty.
In my kitchen organization video, I showed y'all that I got a new silverware drawer with two big sides to it, and I use one side to put all of our K-cups in, and it's located right below our Keurig, and this is still working out so well for us. We love it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stock up this drawer with some donut shop coffee. That's one of our favorites, and then we'll move on. My brain gets blocked at times, but now Somehow I'll give you my attention You've got to know that I I'll be there if you reach out to me Now I'm just going in with the barkeeper's friend on the stove top and we're going to get all of that junk scrubbed up. And y'all, I'm not joking when I say this, you need to get your hands on some barkeeper's friend if you've never tried it because this does a wonderful job on the glass stove top. I've always had trouble getting everything up and with this, not a problem at all. Everything comes right up. Highly recommend this stuff. I always said to Will, I wish we could go back to our coil stove that we had in the apartment just because even when we didn't clean it, it was easier to hide all of the dirt. <laughs> but with this stuff, I'm not worried about the glass stove top anymore. It does such a great job. And then of course, I always love to go in afterward with my glass cleaner and get it all shined up. All right, now headed back over to the sink. Every time I do the dishes, I like to take everything off of the soap dish and clear it off and just kind of wipe it down so that it doesn't get super grubby. But how cute are Will and Opie over there in the background? Will is seriously the best dog dad ever. He's always worried about where Opie is and what he's eating and what he's doing. But they're just hanging out over there. And here in just a second, I'm gonna take my Mrs. Meyers dish soap and scrub out this sink. Now I'm going to take my Sprayway glass cleaner and spray down the front of our appliances and wipe them down really well. I have to do this super often just because water splashes on them and all kinds of stuff gets on them and they just look really gross. So I like to get that done about once a week. Tear down all your features, go against the feeling, make them fall like gravel to the floor. Only when the 
the dust says you started me pray all the things that you've been fighting for because no one no one knows what you planned out everything that you built up isn't what you want and i know i know i know the life you're living isn't that fulfilling let me help you out Believe the words you've spoken Cause some dreams are meant to be broken your love on me There is no better feeling than a clean kitchen and it also feels so good to have all of your cleaning done before it gets dark outside because then you have the whole rest of the night to just enjoy. I am going to finish up some vacuuming in the living room, the spots that I missed earlier. But thank you all so much for watching today. I hope it gave you tons of motivation to go and tackle your to-do list. And if you're not already subscribed, don't forget to hit that red button before you go today. And also don't forget to go and check out Elizabeth's channel and subscribe. Y'all will love her. And I will see y'all next week for my Easter clean and decorate. Bye!